What's up guys, welcome back to iFixTech. Today we have a MacBook Pro that is displaying some vertical lines on the LCD. This is a 13 inch 2020 MacBook Pro and we're gonna demonstrate step by step how to replace the LCD. The process to change the LCD on most MacBooks is very similar, but this one will be specific for 2016 to 2020 MacBooks. Let's get started. For this MacBook, we're changing the whole LCD assembly. Here are some of the tools that I will be using to fix this computer, but if you have a repair kit, you should have most of the tools that you need. Also, a suction coat and a black stick should do the trick. First things first, you're gonna have to remove the bottom case. Using the B5 or Pentalope screwdriver, remove the six screws from the bottom case. Now, using the suction cup, you're gonna attach it to the edges of the bottom case. Pull off the handle of the suction cup until you feel the internal clips release. Do not insert a plastic in the front gap or you may damage the battery. Insert the plastic in the vent gap between the display and top case. Then, pull the plastic to disengage the sprint fingers. Repeat this on the other side of the computer. After open, first thing that we want to do is remove the BMU or battery management unit flex cable. Gently peel the metal tab of the locking lever of the BMU flex cable. Use the flat end of the black stick to flip up the locking lever and gently slide it out of the connector. Remove the mylar cover and then use a D5 bit to remove the BMU screw. Now we are going to remove the clutch cover. For that, you will need a D3 bit to remove two screws from each clutch cover. Then you can use a black stick to remove the clutch cover from the top case. Now we need to remove the vent antenna module. For that, we will use a D3B to remove four screws, two from the embedded display port or EDP connector cowling and two from the EDP flex cable cowling. Remove the cowlings and group each cowling with their corresponding screws. Connect the EDP cable from the connector on the timing controller or TICOM board. Now remove the mylar cover located above the wireless antenna cables. Then use the D5B to remove the T5 screw from the antenna ground clip and logic board. You can use a plastic to disconnect the two wireless antenna cables from the logic board. Use a T5 bit to remove four screws from the TICOM board. Use a D3 bit to remove four screws from the spring tensioners. Keep in mind that the spring tensioners and the timing controller or TICOM board are part of the display. Use the P2 or Pentalo 2 driver to remove 12 screws on the vent antenna.
carefully, guide the antenna cables and antenna ground clip through the opening in the rear wall as you lift the bent antenna out of the top case. Gently lift the thicken board and deattach the spring tensioners. You can use something like a magnet board or a cup to make sure all your screws are well organized. For the next step, you're going to open the computer and place it face down on a clean surface with a blade hanging down over the edge of the table. Using a TA bead, you will now remove six screws from the display hinges. Pull the display towards you about 15 degrees. Lift the display up and ensure that the hinges clear the edge of the top case. Now let's install the new LCD panel. Make sure the thickened board and spring tensioners are not wedged between the top case and the display. Now place the new displays on the top case. Ensure that the thickened board and spring tensioners are inside the top case. Now, using the TA bit, you will partially reinstall the six screws into the display hinges. Close the displays and adjust it until it's flush with the top case. Stand up the computer on a clean, flat surface to level the front to rear display hinge alignment. Now you will close the displays and using the TA bead you will fully tighten the six screws. Time to reinstall the bent antenna. Roll the two antennas and the antenna ground clip through the opening in the rear wall. Lower the vent antenna into the top case. Gently press down on the middle of the vent antenna to sit it in the top case. Now, using the T3 bead, you will reinstall the four screws in the spring tensioner. The spring tensioner cable should lay completely flat in the top case. The four screw holes in the body of the spring tensioners should align with the screw holes in the internal frame. Then you will use the T5 bit to reinstall the four screws in the Ticon board. Using the P2B, you will now reinstall the 12 screws in the vent antenna. Make sure you don't over tighten the screws. Now you will use the T5 bead to reinstall the screw on the antenna ground clip and logic board. Align the antenna heads over the antenna connectors on the logic board. You can use the flat head of the black stick to press the two antenna heads onto the antenna connectors. Reconnect the EDP flex cable to the TICOM board. Make sure it is properly connected. Now you will first position the EDP connector cowling, then use the T3 bead to install the screws. Then you will position the EDP flex cable cowling and use the T3 bead to reinstall the screws. Using a T5, you will now install the two screws on each clutch cover. Do a final inspection to make sure that everything is properly connected. Now to install the cover, make sure the right and left edge are flush. 
Also, you want to leave a gap on each side as we shown in the video. Then, using your hands, you will slide the cover towards you. Using a pentalock or P5, you will now reinstall the six screws to the bottom cover. Now the moment of the tool, reconnect the charger and press the power button. This was a step by step how to replace LCD on MacBook Pros. I really hope you like it, if that was the case don't forget to share, subscribe, like the video and I'll see you in the next one.